Hi everybody, namaste to you and welcome. Today I want to speak about slowing down the mind and getting to actually use your mind in your favor. Now, I really like Osho and he said that the mind is a powerful servant but a dangerous master. It means that if your mind controls you, now you are actually in a, in a state of consciousness that actually won't be in your favor, okay? So what I'm realizing is myself is the fact that I have thoughts that sometimes are intrusive. You know, I have thoughts that sometimes are coming out of nowhere. But what I'm realizing is the fact that I can always step back into my body's consciousness and I can always get to have the, the self-control. I can always get to actually control my mind in such a way that I can actually begin to live from the heart. Okay, so the first tip if you really want to slow down the mind and getting to actually use it in your favor is step into your emotional field, step into your heart space, step into your intuition. Now, science has proven that uh, the emotional body is actually way more powerful than the mental body. And what I'm realizing is the fact that emotion creates thoughts. Now, if your emotions are in alignment, if your emotions are connected, you will have positive thoughts. But if your feelings are out of alignment, if your emotional body is out of alignment, you will actually be in resistance and you will have negative thoughts. So it's about really learning to find vibrational alignment with your own emotional field. And what I believe to happen is the fact that the higher self constantly speak to, speaks to us through our feelings, okay? It speaks to us through our feelings. So if we are listening to our feelings, we realize that we can actually raise our levels of consciousness. But if we cannot listen to our feelings, we will actually be in resistance, we will be in our lower nature. Now, you don't have to judge yourself, okay? You don't have to judge your thoughts. You don't have to judge what you feel. And what I've seen in my own journey was the fact that it was also okay sometimes to be in resistance because in that contrast, I got to learn what I really wanted, okay? In that contrast, I got to learn that I had a choice. I had free will to actually express the way that I wanted to express myself. Now, the second tip is observation. Okay, observation, start observing your emotional field of consciousness, start observing your thoughts. Because what I'm realizing is the fact that I'm not my thoughts, I'm not my feelings, I'm not even my body. I'm actually the observer of these things, okay? So when you get to actually observe your feelings and when you get to enter into the present moment, you realize that you are actually not these things, okay? You are not your feelings, you are not your thoughts, you are not even your body. You are actually the consciousness that is behind these things. You are the consciousness that actually observes these things. Now, the third tip is meditation, okay? How much do you meditate? And I know that maybe meditation is not for everybody, but what we do in meditation, we actually change our brain cells, okay? We actually step into a, a different state of consciousness, into a much uh focused and into uh, of a state of consciousness that will actually reveal different things about ourselves okay so when i meditate i realize that i have the power to actually slow down my mind you now and meditation actually shifts your your consciousness it shifts your synapses it shifts your brain cells in such a way that you enter a different state of consciousness so meditation is really good how do you meditate well in meditation you should actually begin to not deny your thoughts but you should begin to actually accept your thoughts so it's about acceptance this is what i'm realizing the more that i accept is the more that i surrender to my spirit the more that i accept is the more that I realize that maybe it's not even that serious, okay? Now, another tip would be uh, realize that fear is actually an illusion, okay? Fear is not real. Whenever you are feeling fear, that is actually excitement, okay? Fear may be actually excitement. Fear may be excitement, guys, okay? So what I'm realizing is the fact that when I feel fear and when I feel a low vibrational state of consciousness, I gotta actually begin to not take it so seriously, okay? I gotta begin to not take it so seriously and I gotta begin to actually accept it. Because when you accept what you feel, you also release resistance. So my suggestion is face your fear and realize that it's not that serious, it's not that uh, scary, 
okay it may be scary sometimes because when you enter a panic attack that is actually scary but you have to actually go deeper into it and you have to actually accept it completely so the fourth tip is realize that fear is not that real okay fear is actually an illusion fears fear means false evidence appearing real okay it's not real it's just false evidence so yeah realize that your emotional body is actually an important tool in this process and yes the mental body is actually also a powerful tool but the emotional field is way more powerful than your thoughts it means that your feelings are way more powerful than your thoughts the more that you step into your intuition and the more that you step into your emotional field is the more that your mind gets to be silenced okay and what i'm what i'm realizing is the fact that when i live in my mind i also create suffering because the mind is about attachment when the mind controls you you are actually being attached to certain things okay so my suggestion is let go of the attachment and try as much as possible to actually silence the mind because again the mind is a powerful servant it can actually serve you in a creative way but it can be a dangerous master so when the mind controls you it is actually a dangerous master okay so yeah realize that you can actually use these tools for slowing down the mind now it's okay to also experience negative things you know it's okay to also experience negative feelings maybe or negative thoughts but i realized that when i accept these things when i accept my negative feelings and when i accept my negative thoughts i actually release resistance and i get to find my own way of expressing myself i get to find my own way of uh, stepping into my own source of consciousness okay so yes vibrational alignment is important and I constantly speak about this in my videos because what I believe to happen is the fact that when the higher self speaks to us and when we listen we are actually being in vibrational alignment we are actually being connected to higher consciousness we are being connected to source consciousness and source energy and really source energy is is love okay it is love operate from and as love and see what happens because love is actually a really powerful energy that you can use in order to alchemize your world from the inside out okay so yes we live in a higher intelligent universe and our consciousness is actually connected to higher intelligence okay our consciousness is connected to higher vibrations the more that we step into our intuition and the more that we step into a creative process and the more that we step into a, our heart space is the more that we are being to vibration is the more that we are being connected to vibrational alignment and higher intelligence of the universe okay so yes realize that it's okay to experience what you are experiencing okay you don't have to always chase the positive you don't have to be in duality okay you have to be in your complete state of consciousness and yes sometimes it's also about facing our negative side and our shadow self and to accept unaccepted parts about ourselves because you know you are complete in your incompleteness you cannot say that okay this is it and i'm perfect and you know life goes on and uh, life is actually not perfect you know and i am not perfect as a human being but when i accept the fact that i am perfect in my imperfection i get to actually open my heart and i get to actually open my creativity to a whole new level okay guys so these are my tools on slowing down the mind realize that you can constantly alchemize your experiences okay you can constantly alchemize your state of consciousness you can actually be in that state that fits you best all that you gotta do is step into your heart space and operate from and as love i realize that love is actually the most powerful energy in the universe and when we operate as love we are god itself we are higher consciousness we are kings and queens okay so guys this is my message today for slowing down the mind and getting to actually use it in our favor thank you so much for watching and if you are new to my youtube channel or my igtv channel feel free to subscribe leave a comment 
and if you wish to work with me personally feel free to send me a message also if you wish to be part of my spiritual podcast called kindly awakening feel free to also send me a message guys thanks so much for watching and these are my tools on how to slow down the mind and move into the emotional field and step into your true authentic state of consciousness much peace and see you on what is coming up next bye bye